This is one of those effects that when you start out doing it, you're never really sure how it's going to end up. There's a few different parameters that you can tweak and making a few minor adjustments here and duplicating a few things and shifting things around can really drastically um, alter the final effect. So it's quite cool just to have a bit of a play around and see what happens. Okay, so I'm just going to turn off a few of these elements just so we can go through quickly and see how it's done. We started off with a simple arc shape and I have used that arc shape to mirror a small group with a couple of different patterns in it. And these are just, you know, a frame and an oscillator to just create a bit of movement. I won't go into too much detail as to what goes on or, you know, what settings I had because it's pretty much a matter of experimentation. So this is just a 20 degree arc shape and then I created a custom shape and I put that whole group into it and I've scaled it negative one. So that's our uh, 40 degree split here. And then I have duplicated that around a point nine times. And then we just hit play and just have a bit of fun, tweak those settings and see what comes up. So now I'm just going to go through this in a bit more of a considered way. We have just created our arc shape, which is this tool here, created our arc shape and our end angle is 20 degrees. Our outer radius can be whatever is off screen. Okay, so I've just created, I've just grouped that arc shape and I've put a pattern and a pattern folder in here as well. So this is just a simple pattern that I'd made earlier. So I just click on the duplicator, go shape, bake selected shape. And this is just for performance reasons. So now I can just copy that and paste it into my pattern folder. While we're here, we might as well just put some motion onto the position and we'll just do an oscillator for this. And maybe I'll scale this up a bit, a little bit as well. Rotation. And we'll just add a frame in there as well. And with our arc shape, we're going to put it over our pattern. And we'll just see how this goes. And then we'll, um, then we can tweak it. So we've created our custom shape. We put our flip in there and then go scale to negative one. And we're going to group all those again because we're going to pop that into a duplicator. In our duplicator, we just change the distribution type to a point. So yeah, that's there's a 40 degree arc here because we've duplicated it. So it's 360 divided by 40 is nine. And now we're going to go to our shape rotation and we're going to add a stagger. So with our minimum, we're going to start where we started, which is 20 degrees. And we finish, it's because we want the whole thing to equal 360, we finish at 340. And that is our little pattern. So what we can do here, we can just click on our duplicator and scale this up a little bit. And to add complexity, we just come back into our pattern folder and we can just duplicate this and we can shrink this down. We can change the, uh, change that a little bit. Again, this is just experimentation to see what happens. Um, and we can just duplicate it again if we wanted to as well. And change the change the time. I have no idea how this is gonna come out. One other thing I did with my kaleidoscope here was just add some chromatic um, aberration. It just has a nice kind of slightly psychedelic kind of feel to it. It's not necessarily the thing I was going through, going for. I definitely wasn't going for a psychedelic, but it's uh, it's just one of those things. Have a bit of a play around. Uh, anyway, it's um, 
yeah there's so many different variables and yeah like it's, like i said it's a bit of a gamble every time you kind of do it it's a bit hard to gauge as to um how it's all going to come together um yeah cool so again that was just changing the scale a little bit and um that's what's popped up cool thanks for watching and if you could like and subscribe that would be much appreciated thanks a lot <laughs>